Mike. Yeah, no, they got it. You're yeah, right. Yeah, it's been red corner first. It's weird. Being accompanied to the cage by the likes of Alex Gilpin, Mark Leminger, Dante Skiro, Damian DeCora, and more. It is the pit bull, Devin Seitz, who, by the way, gets one of the louder ovations that you will ever hear here at Monona Terrace. They love him here. And this is kind of a new thing, too. We haven't seen this before at Chosen Few. These glow sticks, or whatever they are, uh, in support of Devin Seitz, but the crowd on their feet. If there's definitely a home crowd advantage, even though Rodney, by the way, is from Madison, I think that home crowd advantage tonight is going to belong to Devin Seitz. The crowd is just different when Devin Seitz makes that walk, and it's very evident again here tonight at the Monona Terrace. And Devin has been looking forward to this one, as have a lot of people, ever since last June at the Sylvie. We are going to talk about how that fight went down and and Devin's fight, if you will, for redemption since then. The crowd urging him on as Sites is in the cage. Now we will take a look at Rodney Alexander. Next up, his opponent, Rodney Alexander. characters and then there are characters and then there's Rodney Alexander one of the more interesting guys you will ever talk to and by the way one of the most intelligent fighters that I have seen in this area I love talking to Rodney not only about fighting but things that aren't even fighting related he is a singular individual he kind of dances to the beat of his own drum and that is kind of apparent in the cage as well and was apparent in the first fight when these two won at it at the Sylvie back in June. We will see if that fight plays out the same way as both men are making their pro debut and running this back from a fight that happened just about seven months ago, a mile and a half or two miles down the road from here. Not too far at all. Rodney and Devin. Devin, by the way, if you take a look at him, has been singularly focused on this one fight. Rodney, by the way, happy just to have the fight come to him. Going to be an interesting matchup, to say the least. Let's get the particulars right now from Chris Garrity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your co-main event of the evening. Three rounds in our 145-pound featherweight division. Introducing first, this man fighting out of the TNT red corner. He stands in at five foot six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. He represents the Chosen Few Gym and hails from a Broadhead, Wisconsin. He is making his professional debut right here this evening. He is the former amateur lightweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, the Pitbull! Devin Sites! His opponent, this man, fighting out of the Kearns Blue Corner, also making his professional debut right here for the Chosen Few Fighting Championships. 
He stands in at five foot nine inches tall. He weighed at 145 ready pounds. He represents perfect moves and hails from right here in Madison, Wisconsin. Renegade Rodney Alexander. And the Renegade, a perfect nickname for Rodney. Going up against Devin Seitz, who is a pit bull. Another fitting nickname is let's hear the instructions. First fight over at the Sylvie was not Devin's fight, according to Seitz as he did not take the fight to Rodney. Rodney, by the way, very happy to be a counter striker and will let the fight come to him. Seitz usually likes to initiate the action and he's doing it here early on in round number one. Right, right away we see Seitz pushing forward. Kind of a half caught kick, half slip on Rodney's part, but nonetheless, you know, confidence booster for Seitz and the crowd loved it. Kind of interesting how these two fighters got to 145 as well. Sight says he's naturally at 165, 170. Had to cut a lot of weight, and especially a lot of weight late. Rodney Alexander, by the way, I've seen him eat chicken nuggets from McDonald's, doesn't care. He holds at 144, 145, no matter what he does. How does that affect fighters, by the way? One's more natural at the weight, the other one's got to cut. I mean, it's different for everybody. Some guys just naturally don't get affected by cutting weight. Uh, and some guys like fighting at their weight. Personally, I don't like to cut too much. I feel it affects my performance, but then I have teammates that, you know, they'll cut 30, 40 pounds and not feel any effects whatsoever. Clearly, Rodney, even if he's eating chicken nuggets, is not hurting his body any. And I, I will say Devin looking a lot more trim until he's put in a lot more cardio and he would have had to to get down to this weight. So we'll see if that shows in this fight and maybe he gets a little more output this time around. The type of weight you cut also has a lot to do with it. And I'm going to give you an example of Daniel Cormier. Always comes in heavy the week of the fight, cuts a lot, gets down to where he is. It has zero effect on how he performs in the cage because he's cutting straight water because he carries so much fat, to be honest with you. But you got guys where their straight muscle have zero body fat, so what they're doing is draining everything from their body and it's hard to put that all back in in one day and now especially since the commissions have stopped allowing fighters to do uh you know uh, heated ringers or or ivs in general um the muscle that you carry has a lot to do with recovery the next day sites has been extremely focused on this fight ever since it happened last june so again this is a rematch rodney won in a split decision in a very tough fight a lot of that fight was on the mat and site says this time he wants to do more striking wants to be straight up and wants to initiate the action he didn't bring a lot of it to rodney the first time around in what was pretty much a slow almost lethargic fight a couple big bursts here and big exchanges nothing landing with too much power yet sites is doing really good at moving back explosively to avoid those leg kicks i'd like to see him use that explosive movement to go in to try and land that right hand rodney again i had both of these guys on my show leading up to the fight rodney would be very content he said just to let devin come to him and counter and counter the moves of sights a very intelligent fighter also patient is rodney alexander as well when he's in the cage and sometimes you don't see that from guys especially only making his pro debut but you see that out of rodney alexander he will let the action come to him and Rodney seems content here to be more of the counterpunch mm -hmm. style fighter here. He doesn't need to be the aggressor because he knows Sites has been looking for this fight for years at basically at this point, or however long it's yeah. been since their last fight. So he's going to let Sites come to him, and you see that he likes to throw that left hand kind of off his back foot, and he's landed it a couple times now. So I don't think Alexander feels he needs to be the aggressor, and still he can win this fight without being it. Right. One thing he is going to have to change up, Every time he throws that kick, almost every time, he gets hung up by sights and he throws something off it. Even if it's not landing, he's pushing him back. Uh, what Rodney needs to do right now is after those kicks, the old boxing head is jab your way in, jab your way out. Even if the kick gets caught, try to punch your way out of it. And even when you move away, make it look like you're choosing to move away, not that sights is driving you. If I'm in sights' corner, I'm saying, hey, you're getting close after you're hanging that kick up. Let your hands go a little bit more. Pursue a little bit more if he turns his back to you and see if you can't get something going. 
Four minutes have elapsed here in round number one. One thing we have not seen from Sites that he said he was going to use, elbows. He is looking forward to that as a pro being able to do that. Hasn't had the opportunity to do so so far. A lot of their first fight was on the mat. None of it so far tonight. You know, I see Devin every single time Rodney's about to throw a kick. He drops his left hand and getting ready to catch it. That's something that's always kind of bothered me because I think if you're a smart enough striker, you can get a guy to drop his left hand just by making a hip movement. Isn't that going to open your opponent up by doing that? I've never understood catching of the kicks if you're not going to do anything with it. Oh, it definitely can. And now a big double leg attempt from Sites. Rodney really doing well to defend that. Rodney with good takedown defense there. The cage helped him out as well in, in that endeavor. A final few seconds here in round number one. A fairly even first round between Sykes and Alexander here at Chosen Few Fighting Championships number 18 on TVW. Taking a look at action from round number one, and that was the takedown Sites went for. Alexander able to block it in the last few seconds of round number one, and also connect on the left as he was able to back out of there. That left, by the way, might have put that knot that's in the head of Devin Sites. You see that right above the right temple, basically, on the forehead. Pretty even action in round number one. And really, I'm kind of surprised for as much as Sight says that he was going to initiate the action, really take it to Alexander. He hasn't taken it to him as much as I thought that he would. This is kind of following the pattern of their first fight as far as who's initiating what. Right, and again, he is coming forward first and technically initiating the exchange, but he's not following up on anything. Mm -hmm. He'll start it off. Uh, Rodney Alexander runs away and then he doesn't do anything to pursue. See, that was much better. Walk him down a little bit, get to your range, and then strike as opposed to countering off a kick or just throwing a big right hand and letting Rodney get out of the way. A knee to the ribs of Alexander landed for Sainz, but Rodney, again, none the worse for wear right now, looking pretty fresh, and basically he's caught a couple shots, but hasn't really been stunned yet in this fight. So to Chris's point earlier, He's seeing that Seitz is dropping his hand every time to catch the kick from Rodney. And catching that kick on that front side is a little bit easier. But one thing that Seitz has got to watch out for is he keeps dropping in every time he comes in, and that can lead to head kicks down the road. And right there, he's shooting from a little too far out again, dropping a little bit low. And that's going to make it real easy for Rodney to defend those takedowns if he's ready for them. And not sure there if... That was a kick to the groin or not, or what happened in that exchange, or Devin was just a little bit off, but he seems ready to go. And Tom didn't care. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> wasn't even close to giving him a break right there. As again, it almost feels like here we are in the second round and these guys are still feeling each other out. Well, you wonder when one of these guys is going to win this fight. Yeah. It's, it's good. Or else you're just going to go to another terrible split decision where the judges have to decide, oh, did this punch land? Did that punch land? Did this kick land? Because then you're basically going down to the little notches you make in your scorecard of maybe who might have landed a little bit more. So somebody really needs to be the aggressor here and, and try and win the fight, or else we're just going to have another weird split decision. And this crowd's ready to explode, by the way. I mean, they want something positive to happen here for Devin Sykes. It's just not happening yet. I mean, we're expecting to see those glow sticks go up. We're expecting them to get into this fight. And I don't know if that will even influence the judges a little bit. But, you know, they know that Sykes has the crowd behind him. They're not making any noise for Sykes right now because he's not landing. He's not scoring. And, Gerald, you, you had kind of followed up on what I said, and it's getting worse. That drop. Do you see that every single time? How much farther down his, his head's getting? His head and his chest Rodney is better, coming down. Yeah, Rodney really wants to. He better start thinking head kick. So in a pro debut, again, this is their, both their first pro fight. These guys are trying to be very risk averse. And sometimes in a fight, you got to get into the fire and get dirty a little bit to make something happen. So, and there. Good luck there sights by following. Sights. As he's able to back Rodney up. And again, Rodney not stunned by it, not hurt. He did catch a left, but he seems all right. So like I was saying, Seitz is pushing forward a little bit, but then if Rodney's not in a favorable position, he just runs. 
and then Seitz will only throw one, two things when he's in absolutely no danger and then move away. But now here we see him pressing a little bit more. You gotta keep getting into these exchanges and before when it was 50-50, Rodney would explode and do just enough to get Seitz to back off and make him think twice about keeping coming forward. But there, that's right. what he needs, big right hand. That right hand connected right to the chin of Rodney Alexander. That one did slow him down a bit. Now I'd like to see Devin set that up from now on. Throw the left as many times as he can so he can do that because he'll land it. Right, and here we see he's realized he's got to get a little bit closer and do a little bit more before he throws those strikes. Rodney missing on a big left hand. Seitz was able to connect basically to the shoulder, it looked like, of Alexander as again, Rodney just missing on some of his shots right there. And if anybody is scoring a little bit more, it would be Seitz yeah, in this round. Man. Crowd coming alive as Seitz again scoring now with another flurry for Alexander and Rodney backing off, catching his breath. And this is the first time I can see where a fighter has a true advantage here. So Seitz definitely winning this round. He's got the advantage in the stand-up. What you saw back there before that last shot landed was Alexander was kind of getting happy feet a little bit. The, oh no, you have power for happy feet of the way he was sprinting around the cage. So Seitz should know he's got him on his heels. I think he should keep going. I haven't seen Rodney throw a power shot in this round. So if I'm Seitz, I go forward and I keep throwing. And now he's got Rodney Alexander double guessing really trying to protect himself more than fight back. And right there, keep exploding. Sights again with a flurry, a good counter there by Alexander. Think he caught him with a left that stood Sights up just for a second and just enough to break up the action there. Final 10 seconds of what has been a Sights round number two. We'll see if Rodney can bounce back in round number three. Final round straight ahead on TVW. Replays brought to us by Floors for Less as round number two, mostly belonging to Devin Seitz. It sees, it's seen as anybody who actually landed anything at all or anything of consequence in that round, it was Devin Seitz. Yep, Seitz putting on a little bit more pressure, doing what he said he wanted to do in the second round here and really widening the gap between him and Rodney. And now Rodney might not be able to be the counterfighter in this third round. Yeah, kind of interesting. I mean, what does Rodney have to do in this third round? Is he going to have to initiate something? Does he try to take it to the mat? What does he do to win this fight? Well, he has to do what we were talking about earlier. Well, he doesn't have to do anything now because apparently oh. the fight's over. He Rodney, quit. He quit. Rodney is not coming out for the third round. Holy cow. I mean, you turn your head for one second wondering what's going on here, and Rodney decides he is not going to answer the bell for round number three. Devin Seitz is your winner as Rodney decides not to come out for the third round. Unbelievable turn of events here. Devin Seitz victorious in his pro debut. We'll get the official word from Chris Garrity right after this. Back at Monona Terrace, chosen few fighting championships, number 18. Everybody kind of stunned. The Devin Seitz fans are happy about it as Seitz a winner as Rodney Alexander fails to answer the bell for round number three. Unbelievable turn of events. He just wouldn't Ladies come out. Ladies and gentlemen, the end of this bout comes with his opponent unable to answer the bell to round number three. Your winner by TKO, the Devin Sites. Kind of a strange way Devin, for that fight Devin, to finish here, up, but let's hear from Devin about how that went down. Come on. That camera right there. You've had this fight in your sights for a long time. This is redemption for you from that last split decision you lost right here in Madison. Tell us how you feel getting this victory, especially the way you did, you made your opponent quit. Uh, you know what? Um, I respect Rodney, and you know, I came out here and did my thing. Just like I told everyone I was going to, I was not gonna lose this fight. There was no way I was gonna lose this fight. I respect Rodney, I respect the fact that he took it, but hey, listen, 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 listen. Where we come from, chosen few, we don't quit. We don't quit, we keep moving. That's what we're about, my whole team, we don't quit. 
Well, we saw starting in the second half of that second round, you started to find your range with your striking, and you landed a couple and almost ended, which ended up being the end of the fight, because he obviously didn't want any more in the third round. Is that when you really started to get comfortable in the middle of that round? Oh, uh, yeah, I started off slow. Uh, my corner man, Dante, and... Uh... Gilpin, you know, they're really good. And then I got Damien over there. They were just telling me, you know, keep throwing, pressure him to the fence. And one, two, a two, three, head kick. Uh, I didn't land like I wanted to, but there in the second round, I started taking off a little bit, started landing some stuff, and uh, he was in for it for the third round, so I'm a little upset. Oh, yeah. That's not the way I wanted to win, but hey, guess what? I'll take it. I don't care. If he didn't want none, he didn't want none. Okay. Goes down as a knockout. You're now 1 0 as a pro. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pitbull Devin Sites. Sites is 1-0 as a pro as he gets his redemption, the victory over Rodney Alexander here at Chosen Few Fighting Championships, number 18. That will bring us up to our main event. It is a pro title fight at 165 pounds. Craig Eckelberg looking to defend against the challenger. Cameron Van Camp, hey, everyone, that is straight go, ahead here on TVW.